If you have no idea who our next guests are, then you must be living under a rock. Indeed, okay. Janae Craig and Kenny Rodriguez are fan favorites of Peacock's hit reality dating series Love Island USA, which, by the way, became the number one most watched streaming reality series with, catch this, over a billion minutes watched. Billion with a B. Wow, the, mm -hmm. couple, the couple you're about to meet took third place in the season finale, but that did not stop their romance. In fact, they've recently made their relationship Instagram official. Well, that's how you know it's real. Uh, hello, that here is to tell how you us know it's real. about what really goes on. Do you want to know? I want to know the dish. <sighs> about the upcoming Love Island reunion special, which streams on August 19th, are Janae Craig and Kenny Rodriguez. Whoa, yeah. I might add. Good to see you. Nice to have you here. I mean, if I'm being honest, I feel like I know you guys. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Please sit. Please join us. How you guys feeling? We're feeling good. Yeah. Glad to be back. Yeah. You know, everybody right now is trying to focus on how close together you're going to sit. That's they're like, let's see, posture-wise, just how close together they get. All right. So, just like in case there's somebody, as you said, living under a rock, can you just tell folks the premise of the show, just so people know what the show's all about? Um, so the show is about taking a risk and um, trying to find love, but also trying to build friendships along the way. I mean, you don't have to build friendships, but our season, I think we did a really good job doing so. But just being very open or uh, open and vulnerable and just, you know, putting yourself out there. Yeah. yeah. Testing, yeah. testing connections, building relationships. You know, there's a lot of drama. A lot of people come in bombshells, like myself. Who, the bombshell, indeed. Exactly. We just try to come in there and kind of mess things up a little bit. Right, right. It's just an appropriately little. named uh, title for, mm -hmm. for someone is. like you to come in. <laughs> um, I started watching. I've been mesmerized. Uh, it's a f I watch with my teenage children. I mean, so I will cute. go yeah, out yeah. and say that this 50-year-old and her, her teenagers <laughs> are watching, and they're like, Mommy, you're watching it's the show. And I'm like, it's family viewing in its own kind of way. Mm -hmm. But one billion people have watched your romance unfold. I, I'm sure that's exactly what you expected. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the complete opposite. I don't know, coming out here, like, we're in Fiji, and we're all over, and people are like saying our names. I'm like, how did you know my name? It's so weird, but yeah. it's cute. I love it. Yeah. We have a billion is crazy. I mean, we had no clue going in, going into it. I guess the last episode happened, and everything was over, and the producer comes down and is like, number one scripted and unscripted. And yeah. Wow. They told us that we're bigger than Bridgerton, and that's when I think all of our jaws drop. Like, bigger than Bridgerton's crazy. Like, everyone wants to Bigger Bridgerton. than Bridgerton. That should just be the new tagline that's of the show. <laughs> Love wow. Island USA, bigger than Bridgerton. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're, but you're there, you're on the island, you're in Casa Amor, you're living in this bubble, and then that bubble ends and you come back to reality. What has that been like, yeah. just coming back since you left the island? Um, I think it's been super surreal, maybe, to say the least. Um, it's not as hard as it looks. Like maybe it is kind of stressful, but I think like we balance each other out. Like when I'm nervous, he keeps me calm. When he's nervous, I keep him calm. So Aww. it's been yeah, a roller coaster, but like a, a very scary yet fun roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we're we're social beings. We love being out. We love interacting with people, and it, it has been a bit hard, just like with security sometimes. And you want to take pictures with everyone, and you can't you can't really do that sometimes. So, so you're now navigating the earth with security detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need more security, wow. but it's been good. <laughs> Talk about life changing. Yes, we have. But also, do you do you miss the microphone around your neck? I mean, are, are you nah. like, baby, I love you. Wait, shh, wait, no. wait, that thing, the thing around the thing and the thing. No, it was okay. So when we got the villa, he was whispering. And when we were like outside the villa, I'm like, you don't have to whisper anymore. <laughs> <Right, yeah. laughs> this is a safe space. Right, right, right. I mean, at a certain point, you forget that the cameras, well, when yeah. we're in there, you forget that the cameras are on you. You forget that yeah, the mic is on so you. Small. You kind of forget that you're you're on, in a bubble. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. 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 You had to you had to kiss a couple of frogs to get your prince. Lots of frogs. You for Toes. sure did. Did you ever think during the process that you would find love on the show and then love that lasted after the show was over? Yeah, no. My track record wasn't the best and I was like losing hope and I <laughs> Kenny's <laughs> laugh when you said my track record wasn't the best. He was like, oh. <laughs> No, it was pretty bad. No, 0 for, I was, 0 for uh, 3? Over okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this is real because they're busting each other's chops. Yeah, yeah. You know that's real. Yeah, yeah. You know that's real. No, yeah, it was bad. Um, I tried to like doubt myself. I'm like, maybe there's something wrong with me. Like I thought I was normal, but mm -hmm. it wasn't until Kenny came in, I was reminded, yeah, I am normal and I'm okay and I can be like loved and cared for. It. So it was hard, but um, if I could rewind time, I would do it all over again. Really? Me to Kenny. It's a good sign. So like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I've never talked about my emotions so much. Like in the morning, they'd ask, Kenny, how are you feeling? And then two hours later, Kenny, how are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Not much has changed. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was great for me just to really reflect and think about how I am. I'm genuinely feeling, and, and I don't really take, in the real world, I'd never take the time to just sit down and just relax and think about how, how does this feeling. girl make me feel? Right. How do I feel about this situation? So it was nice. So it became a little bit of therapy for you to bring into your exactly own life outside yeah. of the camera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure. So do you check in with yourself now without the mm -hmm. prompting of a producer? Yeah, like I'm, I've been journaling and things like that. That's so so talking to a therapist frequently. So doing some mental health and so journaling we love that i love that i'm a huge fan of journaling i just to be honest didn't expect you would tell me, me during this interview <laughs> you've been journaling i think that's awesome holy moly wow. okay the next question needs a little bit of setup for folks who are not in the know with right. the show so janae kenny betrayed you when he went to <laughs> casa, casa amor, amor. you it's just called so her out and said you were 0 for three so now i got i gotta stand up <laughs> for my sister fair, i gotta fair, stand up fair. for my sister uh casa amor what is the, the easiest way of saying that you basically go off campus mm -hmm. to see if you have chemistry with somebody else like a bachelor party mm -hmm. Like a is that how you're thinking of it? You're thinking the, of like, called it, the bachelor it was just party. a one-off, it was just a bachelor party. No, it was just a three-day long bachelor party and then some of them brought the party back, which we don't mm -hmm. understand, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. So you came back. What was that like? Because you had already established something, you left and came back. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, is not uncommon outside of Love Island. This right. happens in real, to in the real, real, real people all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely a heated moment at the fire pit when Kat was next to me. Um, Nene started crying and, and I think that's when I, I, I did have like a little meltdown moment where I was like, I do care for this girl. It hurts me to see her like that. And I expressed that to her yeah. after it. So yeah, I made sure I, I was going to keep her after that, after I, see, after I saw all that. <laughs> do you think that your relationship is stronger because you really were yeah. tempted and tested repeated, repeatedly during yeah. the experience? No, I was telling Kenny, like, I ended up apologizing to him that I was so frustrated at the fire pit because I didn't understand, like, his perspective. But um, after he explained to her, like, we were, like, high emotion that night. Like, we were mm. crying. I was calling for an Uber. I was, like, pack my stuff. I needed an Uber so bad. Hold my mic. Hold my oh. mic. Get me out of here. Like, don't look at me. But um, after I had to, like, calm down, it was, like, my TPG girls. I was, like, Janae, don't leave. Like, just stay one more day. I'm, like, let's go. And, like, just yeah. one more day. And I'm, like, fine. I'll sleep on it. I understood why he did it because we spent so much time together. Um, it's as if he didn't pull any of the other girls other than Leah for a chat because we just spent so much time together. So it was the test I didn't realize we needed. Mm -hmm. And it made him realize, like, Janae, it's always been you. I just wanted to see, like, how talking with someone else makes me feel about you. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could say I was, like, grateful in the mm -hmm. end. Sure. Yeah, I went from upset, disappointed to, like, apologetic and grateful because it definitely made us stronger. So. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. Look, at Look at that. I love it. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Literally. I've heard that. A little well, trauma. We, we a little trauma. The <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. That's exactly right. Uh, the reunion streams Monday. It you does. Just, you just shot it a couple of days ago. What can we expect? Is anyone ripping off their mic? <sighs> a lot of people. I'm um, surprised no one didn't rip off the mic. True. It was it was a lot. If I'm being there honest. There were tears shed. A lot Lots of people of stood on business. So. Spoke mm -hmm. their mind loud and There's clear. There's apologies finally given. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was very intense, though, if I'm being honest. You know, some relationships are still going, some aren't. Okay. Yeah. But this one is still going. Yes. Oh, so. So and, so and we'll be hosting the wedding right here on Pix 11 <laughs> and Pix Plus out of the Pix Plaza. Feel free. Thank you both so much for being here. It was yeah. great. So much fun. Awesome. Thanks for having us. And have the best time ever. Truly. Thank you. Really, really, truly. Thank you for spending time with us. Also, BX. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know.
Uh, make sure you watch all the Love Island reunion, uh, Love Island USA reunion, uh, streaming on Peacock Monday, August 19th at There 9 are some apologies. Mm. If you were shut out of the 92nd Street Y event uh, with the Love Island folks tonight, make sure to get to get your tickets online. <laughs>